How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 4 of Hawkeye. This episode is titled, Partners. Am I right? Also, yes, this reaction is a little bit late. Don't worry about it. Now last episode we had the backstory of Maya Lopez, aka Echo, and how she's associated with the Tracksuit Mafia and how she's associated with Ronan. Ronan basically killed her dad, and we also had like a massive chase scene through New York. I guess New York, kind of New York. But it was a cool sequence, you know, we had the one shot and the Pim arrow, which for some reason I thought it would shrink the arrow and not enlarge it. Obviously it would enlarge it, like come on, use your brain. And then I guess Kate and Clint kind of talks about like a costume for Clint to show off his brand, I guess. And then by the end of the episode they went to... Kate's apartment, well not her apartment, but Eleanor's apartment, and basically Jack was there with the Ronin sword to Clint's throat, and that's how the episode ended. And there's also this mysterious uncle that's associated with the tracksuit mafia, and someone that Hawkeye doesn't want to cross, and I think we know who it is. Like, realistically, come on, who's the big grounded villain? And he has like a big organisation, he's rich, he's a criminal, come on, who is it? I don't think they've even connected to any of the stuff from Black Widow, right? Because there was that after credit scene. So I wonder if they're going to touch on that, maybe it'll be in the final episode or something like that. It'd be weird though, because I'd feel rushed, wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, let's stop doing Island around and get right into the fucking episode. Oh yeah, you had this scene too, this scene was really good. How did I forget this scene? Like, what the fuck? This is such a cool scene. This is Detective Cottle of the New York Police Department. Well, everything's like connecting, but all the questions I've had throughout the season are kind of coming back in this one, probably. I mean, it's a good opening call. Oh, okay. Why is there an Avenger in my dining room? <laughs> Hi. Branding issue, I'm telling you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Needs a costume. Wow. So that cliffhanger was pointless. <laughs> He's my partner. We're not partners. Someone used my laptop to sign out of my work account. Any thoughts, Kate? <laughs> yeah, I think it's because I'm generally just pretty chill. You know, I'm not like, oh my god, Hawkeye. <laughs> Thank you for saving the world. Don't mention it. So Kate is helping you with an Avengers level threat? Uh... Not exactly. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to trust everyone at this table to do what's right. Clint's got to recognise that that's his sword, right? Can I see you out? I think Eleanor's in on it. She has to be. She is not a superhero. Natasha Romanoff was pretty damn good at it, wasn't she? Dude, Natasha sacrificed herself for, to fucking kill Thanos. So you'll forget this case? No. I can't do that. Oh, you got it. Nice. How the fuck did he get it? What? Sloan. Sloane? Who the fuck is Sloane? Sloane, I recognize that name. It's Jack Duquesne never gives him a day off. Jack's CEO. Oh. This kid I'm helping is stuck in the middle of this and I can't leave until I know she's safe. Did you me out with him, Galinda? I don't think so. The, uh, key. You tired? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little banged up, but nothing's broken. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Dad's gonna be stuck at work a little longer. You give him that pre-headache look, darling. Let me get you some tea. <laughs> what, the pre-headache look? What's that? <laughs> I, uh, I need your help with a few decisions on the Bishop Holiday Party. Just make sure there's plenty of dancing. Well, my mother doesn't dance. Darling? To you. A superhero house call and a serenade all in one day. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> no. So now they're connecting. Like she's thinking, oh, he's maybe not, maybe he's not that bad, but he is. Just a question of like why he'd kill his uncle. Just padding, cause he, what was he doing? Who's gonna jump in the apartment? It's me. I come bearing pizza and holiday cheer. Let me in. This is the classic Hawkeye costume we've been waiting for. Wait, she bought a costume. Talk about sword boy for a minute. You got good instincts, kid. It's laundry shell company. It launders money for the tracksuits. And Jack mm. Come up with a plan to take down my mom's fiance's organized crime ring while simultaneously having a heartwarming holiday celebration. TSM, we need to get them to leave us alone. And oh. we need to try that's dry erase. There are no more trick arrows. Like in the world? Tree covers the parts that won't come off. Yeah, but 
eventually gonna have to take that tree down. <laughs> if all trick arrows were boomerangs, then we'd have them all. I mean, what if it's an explosive arrow? How's that gonna work? How's that gonna come back to you? Knock somebody unconscious with that, like 20 feet away. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Sure get that what if she knocks Clint out? out. <laughs> oh, the dog. Jesus. Ooh. Best shot you ever took? Uh, the one I didn't take. Is it Natasha? About the time I met someone. Natasha? Yeah. I just had this feeling that she wanted out. Is that endgame music? It is. It's got a little bit of that endgame music in there. It's like the sacrifice music. Yes, yeah, so they're talking about the fucking snap! Is that where you met the Ronin? It's when he became the Ronin. It's you, isn't it? You were a hero. That was a weapon. I mean, it makes sense, like, the path he went. I mean, the man lost his whole family. Like, it's, it's not without reason that he didn't just go mental. You know, like, his family are gone, but the people, the criminals get to still roam around, you know? Jack's here. He followed them back. No, he didn't. Maybe he did. Uh, oh, no. Flashback. Wait, that was a new fudge. No, it did. The fact that they're bringing up Natasha's fate and they keep bringing her up in this episode, I think... Maybe Yelena could be in this, maybe. The fucking laughers, dude. <laughs> he said you guys could help us out. One of you is a cop? That's me. I can probably help you out. Probably. You make it worth my while. Oh, yeah, how? Yeah, yeah, sure, totally. Is that the guy that was going, drink? Trust a bro. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Bro! Clint's in the backseat. Yep, there he is. If you're trying to flatter me, you're way off the mark. You know what my boss wants. I know he doesn't like his attention, that's for sure. So you're concerned for the organization? I don't want anybody else to die. True. Oh, you fucking... Looking for this? Why? He's the bot. She's chasing a ghost. I think she'll find out by the end of the season that he's... ...fucking burning. I mean, you could have given him back without the ammo. Oh, come on. Wait! They're still building. Fuck! I think that was... Was that... Avengers Tower? What if that's our deal? What deal? You get us materials for a new costume. Okay, how about... Hmm. I know a certain someone who needs a little help with theirs. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Uh, this is my bag. It says... Bombshell. I know, I, I can see that. Bombshell. Is that, uh... A hero? Where the fuck is Avengers Tower, dude? Who bought it? Who fucking bought it, dude? That's why I chose this spot. <laughs> good sight lines. For my exits. Yeah, good. Entry should be easy. Good sidelines, literally three right in front of her. Three and a half minutes to get in. Did she? She? She went in. Kate. She went in. Can I help you with your bags? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be sus? She's got a bow and arrow. I was talking to an Avenger. I'll just uh, take this back. All right, you take care now. Make make him think she's crazy. Oh, look, it's a boomerang. That's funny, isn't it? They were just talking about boomerangs. You fucking dumbass. Maybe it's a motion sensor. Long to someone I used to work with. Nick Fury? Clint, somebody is taking notes on your family. To Maya's apartment. Is it? I'm coming, I'm coming. Whoa! Okay. Who's he find that? Yelena! It's Yelena, dude. It's Yelena. <laughs> oh, great. Just kind of shimmy across. You gotta shimmy across, you gotta. Oh, Sam Fisher, Splinter Cell. That's got to be Yelena. That moves a very Black Widowy. Okay, okay, wait. Now she's good. She's good. She's good. Oh no, this is gonna trigger his fucking PTSD level. <laughs> Dude, they're playing the fucking music. <laughs> she comes back up. <laughs> I wasn't that door locked. What? Why the fuck was that kick so strong? What? Jesus. I mean, she does have a metal leg, but still. Alright, calm down. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. I wonder if Clint knows who it is. Someone is hired. The Black Widow assassin. This has gotten very real. 
very quickly. I understand the risk. I understand all of that. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, him seeing her almost fall to a death. Like, that almost gone. It's over. Now I got two episodes left. Two episodes! Quit! Quit! You motherfucker. Pretty good episode. Uh, just a little bit on the slower side, you know? And understandably so, though, because it is um, episode four. Episode fours are usually a bit slow because they're building up to the final two episodes, right? And we also had, you know, the big reveal at the end, which I think was the point of the build-up, right? It was it was reminiscing about Natasha, and they were talking about Natasha a lot. There was a lot of the flashback shit. We saw her in the episode. So it was about time Yelena came into it, which makes sense, you know? After quite a scene of Black Widow, I talked about at the beginning of this video. It makes sense, and it's about time they finally did it. Um, but there's still the stuff with the tracksuit mafia. You know, who's the uncle? I don't know. Does Maya know about Ronan being Clint? Also, why would Maya want the watch? What's the what? Like, I assume the watch gives details about someone, right? We don't know who. Maybe it's Natasha. I don't think so, though. But... The fact that Maya wants to watch makes me think, okay, what character realistically would want a watch? He might wear the, you know, a white suit. He's a big fucking guy. Come on, dude. Then we all know they're building to Kingpin. That'll probably be like the final episode or some shit. Maybe next episode we could get the reveal of who wants to watch, right? If this comes back next episode for episode five, that's insane, because that's nostalgia overload, right? Because, I mean, you got No Way Home on Wednesday, right? Or, you know, December 15th in the UK. And then on the same day Kingpin comes back, maybe? I don't know if anyone's going to watch that episode of Hawkeye, though, because everyone's going to want to watch Spider-Man. But, I mean... And more people could probably watch Hawkeye before Spider-Man, though, because it's like, Hawkeye's what going to be like a 30, 40-minute episode. So that's probably what I'll do. I'm going to probably watch Hawkeye and then go watch Spider-Man or maybe the other way around, but I'm not going to spoil it for anyone because obviously UK is getting it a couple of days earlier compared to other countries. The Kingpin stuff, like if Kingpin does come into it, into the MCU, right? It makes sense because, I mean, there's been, like Kevin Feige just recently did like an interview where he said that, you know, if Daredevil comes to the MCU, Charlie Cox will be playing him. Like you wouldn't say that without any concrete evidence that you're going to be using him soon. You know, you're going to be using him soon. You have to be. Like, She-Hulk, perfect opportunity to use him. The Echo TV show, perfect opportunity. Maybe even Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, the, I, I theorise that. Like, maybe he could be his lawyer or something like that, dealing with the identity shit. That would be interesting, but we wouldn't see, like, his Daredevil persona type of thing in No Way Home. Maybe. Would be cool. It makes sense for the story. But then the question is, like, how much of Daredevil is canon, right? Because it's like, are they going to reboot it? Are they going to do a little soft reboot? Is There's going to be some elements from the TV show that are canon and some aren't. I don't know. But dude, if they bring Kingpin back on the, and on the same day fucking Daredevil is in No Way Home, dude, yeah, y Yelena, what's with the... like the Splinter Cell like night vision goggles? Are they night vision? I guess they are. Is that like a comic suit maybe it's very it's very distinct you know like it's a very like recognizable costume speaking of costumes like they're definitely building up to clint wearing one but i don't see the problem is though they showed the the costume he might be wearing at the end in the poster so it kind of takes away from oh you know what's his costume gonna be oh there it is on the like screen of hawkeye on disney plus it's like you know but what the fuck is Sloan? I don't know what it is. Hang on, hang on. Sloan. Slo like, I recognise that name from something. Walker Sloan. I mean, it's connected to Kingpin. It's, got, it's Kingpin, dude. Kingpin's gonna be in this show. Sloan's connected to Kingpin. You've got Maya. They didn't show who the uncle was for some reason. Come on, dude. Who, who else could it be? Maya's trying to get a watch for this person. Come on. He's very wealthy and he's not someone to be messed with. Come on, dude. Who else could it be? It's fucking...
disc. I'm glad they kind of touched on the uh, the snap a little bit. They showed some more scenes that we didn't see, like because I saw the the shot of Clint and he was hugging his wife, right? And he had the the end game hair. So I was like, wait, is that is that a new scene? Because we we never saw that. I don't remember seeing that. Because um, they kind of skipped over, like, him f seeing his family again, right? They, he got the phone call and that was it. So, yeah, I mean, that was cool. Like, we got some more Vernon stuff in the flashbacks. I kind of wish we got a little bit more. But hearing about the events of the snap is always cool. You know, Kate brought it up. It felt like they kind of skipped over that. I thought that would have been pretty interesting if we did see, like, what Kate dealt with when everyone got... You know? But... I know they call it the blip, but is the blip when everyone comes back and the snap is when everyone disappears? I just call it the snap, dude. It is it, 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 it is literally what it was. It was a snap. He snapped his fingers and everyone vanished. And then Bruce snapped his fingers and everyone came back. Is it Kazi, the guy that uh, Clint was talking to in the car? He seems somewhat decent, but, I mean, it's hard to say. Like, he is potentially working for Fisk. Um, maybe under, like, fear, I guess, because, I mean, Fisk is... Depending on how they do... Because they haven't shown him yet. Depending on how they do Fisk, I wonder if it'll just be, like, the Daredevil Netflix kind of Fisk, like, it's just Vincent D'Onofrio, he's, he's just super strong. Or they'll make it comic accurate. Like, he'll be fucking massive. I doubt it. I, they'd have to CG it or use, like, a bodysuit or something, and that's that's just ridiculous. I do feel like this episode might be the weakest... Like, not in a bad way, just, like, the weakest in terms of entertainment value, right? Because, I mean, episode 3 was really good. Episode 2 was, you know, kind of a continuation of episode 1. Episode 1 set up the characters perfectly, it set up the story great, you know? Episode 4 just kind of felt like more of the same. We got to see, like, Clint and Kate bond a little bit, but... You know, and also the fucking cliffhanger from last episode was kind of shit, because it's like, oh, shit, Jack's got a sword to Clint's throat, and then it's like, oh... Nope, nothing happens because of that. Now, Clint's got the Vonin sword. I wonder if Jack's going to retaliate because of that. We'll have to see. Because it doesn't feel like Jack's going to be, like, the main big bad. Because it seems like Kate kind of likes him a little bit. But he is connected to the Sloan shit. So, I don't know. Like, I'm just curious, like, how Jack is going to come into play. Like, because you've got Yelena going after Clint. They definitely, they're definitely going to have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart Yelena and Clint in, like, the final episode or some shit. What if Clint dies? What if Yelena kills Clint? Dude, Yelena, I, I do think she's like the highlight of the Black Widow film. She was a really fucking funny character. But you can't kill Clint. You can't. Like, if they were going to kill Clint, they would have done it in Endgame, right? Like, having Natasha sacrifice herself so Clint's family could come back is... I mean, it literally goes against her sacrifice. Her sacrifice would have been for nothing. I think I know what they're going to do with the show, but at the same time, I don't. Because <laughs> with Marvel... It's a question of, like, is Hawkeye going to build towards another project? Or is it going to be, like, a standalone thing? Right? Because, you know, um, WandaVision builds towards Doctor Strange and potentially Spider-Man too. The one thing that keeps, like, scratching my head is why they aren't showing Stark Tower. Because we know someone's bought it. That was, you know, revealed. Um, I guess it was kind of in Far From Home. And maybe even before that, I think Homecoming talked about it a little bit. But you have to show it. Right, at some point, maybe at the end of the show, maybe in No Way Home, maybe in somewhere else, I don't know. Like, what would make sense to show it? The Multiverse of Madness? I don't know. Like, realistically, there's only three people who can buy it. Like, I'm saying Baxter Building, Fisk Tower, or Oscorp. They're the three that stand out, but I don't think they'll do Oscorp because the fact that Green Goblin is going to be in No Way Home, so it's going to be a bit weird... I don't know if they'll do that. Like, they'll probably do Norman Osborn, but I don't think Norman Osborn will be played by Willem Dafoe because Willem is, you know, he's getting on in age, you know, and him playing, like, a new era of o Osborn is a bit weird. You know, he's the Vamy Osborn. He's not the MCU Osborn. I guess he could be, but he's still, like, the Vamy Osborn in No Way Home, right? He's either Baxter building or Fisk, Fisk Tower. I don't think it'll be Fisk Tower, though. I, I think it'll be Baxter Building. It makes sense. Maybe Fisk will just have his own tower somewhere. Some people, like, maybe it could be the Kang. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Like, I don't think... Because it's weird. Like, Loki's so disconnected to what's happening. Maybe, maybe we'll see... I don't know. Maybe there's a bunch of events 
with the multiverse shit that leads to a big event. Like maybe like or the Doctor Strange spell in No Way Home is kind of like a a little bit of a spark while the Kang shit vips open everything. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, like I said, like a little bit of a slower episode, but you know, that's fine. That's not a bad thing, it's just that's what the episode was. It was slow. Um, with some moments popping off here and there. And then, you know, the one thing that still pisses me off, though, is the fact that that cliffhanger from last episode didn't really hold any weight. It was, like, resolved like that. You know why that pisses me off? Like, you do a cliffhanger, people wait a week to see what's happening, and then it's immediately resolved. It's like, well... You could have just not done a cliffhanger there, you know? I do feel like Jack is pretty one-dimensional, though. I don't really like his character that much. I think the actor's doing a great job, but his character is just kind of meh. I don't really understand where they're going with him. But I'm still speculating that I think Eleanor's in on it. I think it's a power couple type of situation. Maybe. I think that'll be a cool reveal. I mean, it won't be a cool reveal if I already predicted it, because then I'll already know. Yeah, I mean, seeing, like, Hawkeye or Clint train Kate, kind of train Kate, is cool. Like, the... Like, what did they do? Like, like that? Um... Could that really knock someone out? I guess. I mean, he should have proved it by, like, knocking her out or some shit. It would have been funny. But yeah, I mean, good episode. Like I said, a little bit slow, but I think we're building towards the big stuff within the final two anyway. So, it, it, it's fine. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully it's not, like, fucking WandaVision where, like, it starts better than it ended. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I will see you for the next one. Toto and fish.